Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung and Tom Breeze. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Tom Breeze. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Chung. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? So what a night we are expecting here at Scotiabank Arena. You got the Leave the North t-shirt on underneath your suit. You do. You know, I'm the guy that loves any team that's winning. So, yes, we are the North. Or we the North. They don't use proper grammar up there in Canada. But we the North. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the tunnel. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Is there again? Oh, straight right. Kick to the body by Briggs. Head kick, that's a miss. 
Very nice leg kick there by Breeze. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. to go. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Back to the feet now. Just misses there with the left. Lands the right hand. there. He toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat all the way. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, the Korean Zombie is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Under a minute now to go on the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. The Korean Zombie's got the full mount. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Round two straight ahead. some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Oh, nice strike landed there by Breeze. 
Shan Sung Jung presses forward and lands the Korean Zombie going for it as usual here tonight, DC. Breeze's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, you might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Switching stances here. Chung gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Trying to recover full guard there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Breeze. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the Korean Zombie's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this to land these beautiful ground and combinations. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Breeze. Back to his feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. A little single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice, leg flip. Try to establish that jab. Oh, head kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, nice, nice. And they separate. Can't take many of those, you better check. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Flush right hand is true. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. You check that one. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch the punch. Breeze gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And just misses with that big right hand. What a punch. He's in the clinch. This is one of his strongest spots. How does he proceed? Wait, no more strikes. Wait, no more, no more, no more, no more. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect.
You ready? Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Punch over the top. Head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Trying to establish that jab once again. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. John gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Another shot lands up. Blocked by Chan Sung Chung. Oh! Single collar tie now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picking. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of the submissions to pop here tonight. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Zombie. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch it go parallel, right? That's what his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, Right, really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, yeah, right here. Breeze is 
slower job. Very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Breeze. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of double leg takedown attempt here. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finisher position. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Close guard. Oh, nice job for staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Korean Zombie. Tags him with the left. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Pretty good elbow there to the body by Chan Sung Jung. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. He might get a finish here. Wow. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Serious pressure from the top by Breeze. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 
Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Jung gets up. He is back on the feet here. but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Let's just keep it going. Let's just keep doing the same thing for one more round. You do not want to leave it on the hands of the devil. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tight punch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Your defense, your defense now. Nice loop and punch. Takedown defense holds up. All right, single collar tie now. The Korean Zombie's got the tie clinch now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. No, he's on top of him looking for the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Zombie. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Under two minutes now with which to work. Tiptoe tip Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, Breeze is back to the north-south. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean sub. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Going the winner by unanimous decision, Tom Reed. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly